Buffer. Hey there, I was just going to do a quick recording on how to use Buffer. This is an application that you can download on your computer and on your phone, on your smartphone, and in, in there's an app for it. But first I'm going to start to sh with how you use it on your computer. So um, I've downloaded Buffer, um, buffer.com is how you, you, you're going to go on there and download this app, um, applications program, for free. Uh, what it does is it sets up a queue for you of your posts for Facebook, Twitter, or any other uh, social media network. So I have my Facebook account logged in with Buffer and my Twitter account. So you just have to give them your passwords for it and you click, once you set it, you have to set it up and click agree that you're going to allow them access to the, both of these accounts in order to do your posts for you. So um, once you've set that up, it takes you, it's going to look like this. So that takes literally uh, a couple of minutes. It's so fast, so easy. Um, so I'm on content right here, and that's all you need to worry about. This, Don't worry about the analytics, schedule settings, and all that. You just need to be on content. And you're here at the queue. All right, so here you see that little pencil icon right in there. You're going to... Um, click on that and that's where you're going to enter in uh, the post. So if you have copied and uh, uh, some text from someone else's post, a testimony, this is where you would put it in here. Okay, so I did um, Command V on my Mac and I uh, copied and pasted some text here from um, another person's testimony. Alright, so I've done that. I Since we know that Twitter does not allow us to have more than so many characters. It's a very small amount of text. I can't use Twitter for this since it's a very long testament. I can only use Facebook. So I'm highlighted. Make sure you're, it's just Facebook that's highlighted, not Twitter, because otherwise it won't allow you to put it in your queue since it's so long. Twitter is really only for very short sentences, um, maybe just an ad, like I love my Plexus, I love my Plexus energy in a picture, and that would be more appropriate for Twitter. But for this, since it's a long testament, I'm just going to have it I'm gonna have it post on Facebook. Okay, so now down here on my the little camera icon, I'm going to add in, um, you're going to click here and you're going to upload a picture from your files. Um, so I've created a folder that's scheduled to post, so anything that I'm saving up to put on the buffer, I'm putting them in here. So, um, you know, you're, you're going to quit, you're, I mean, I'm sorry, you're going to choose your um, photo and then click open and it's going to click your, um, I mean it's going to add that photo in there and then you're going to go to here add to queue, pull down that icon, schedule your post. So what the beauty of this is you can schedule your post to go any days up, up to here. You can, you know, say so I want to do it next week on the, the 24th. Alright, and I want it to post at um, 7 in the morning. I, I suggest you do at least two posts a day one in the morning, one in the evening. So I like to do my morning ones around 7 a.m., 7, 7.30 a.m. So people who are early morning, people who are up drinking their coffee, checking Facebook, um, they can go on and uh, read what you've posted in the morning. So click Schedule, saving it there. So now it's saved it to my queue. So I'm going to go in here, click on Queue, to, and you can re, you know, see all of the scheduled posts you have coming up. And if you want to make any edits to them, if you've realized you put too many on that day on Monday or you had, you know, whatever it was, you can go in there and edit. So since I actually didn't really want to put this one on there, I'm just, I was just, this is just an example. I'm going to go in here and I'll show you how you can um, just edit. You know, if you realize you messed up on it, you go in there and edit it. Um, I want to, you can change the time, change the time there. I'm going to delete it actually. Okay, and then I'm going to click delete. Okay, pretty simple. So this is what it looks like on um, Facebook. And, let's see, I'm going to show you. It also gives you the ability to download what it, it's called, um, I don't know what they call it, but I downloaded it and it kind of, it's this little application that, you see this little, it says buffer underneath this picture. That means that if I click on that, you know, this is slow. Um, all right, let's go down here. If I click on buffer, that's going to allow me to straight from Facebook, from someone else's um, Facebook page, I can go on and um, schedule a buffer post 
by clicking on buffer. The only problem I have with this one, I've tried it, and um, it has a hard time saving picture, other people's pictures. But if it's just an article or something, then it's pretty easy. But I don't know why it's not allowing me. Okay, so you have to, I have to be off of Twitter because it has too many words for Twitter, so it wasn't allowing me to add in my queue. So I can just straight from Facebook on my computer without having to save anything or transfer anything, I can actually add this particular post um, to my queue, schedule the post, whatever day, time you want. So if you just happen to be scrolling through Facebook on your computer and you see a really great post, just click on that little buffer icon. And um, But I had to download that onto there. I don't, it's When you first sign up for it, ask if you want to download this extra little application that would put it onto your Google Chrome account and so that when you're in Facebook, every post you see from anyone, anyone else's post on your feed, you're going to see a little buffer icon underneath the picture. But as you can see, it's, oh, this one did it. Oh, wow. Well, sometimes it does it. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. But um, I'm going to go off of Twitter because it's too long for Twitter. But let's say I want to I share this, this post. Um, I can just add it to my queue straight from my computer on Facebook without having to save anything, without having to cut and paste the, the, the text or saving the photo or anything. I'm just literally saving it into Buffer and I'm going to schedule it to post whenever I want it to post. But the only problem I've had with this, sometimes it does not transfer the photo over. So and if that doesn't work, you'll just have to go in and save the photo elsewhere and then attach it. So it's not perfect, but like if you wanted to, if it wasn't saving the photo for some reason, you could go in and save it on your desktop and upload it from this icon. Okay, so um, the other way you can use Buffer, which I've been doing a lot, is just from your phone. Now, since I can't show you my phone right here, I've saved some screenshots. The first thing you need to learn, know how to do is you have to realize that when you're in the app on your phone for Facebook, you cannot cut and paste text. That is the problem with Facebook. You cannot cut and paste, you know, save other people's testimonies. But if you do want to do that, you can do it in Safari. So on your phone, you need to go find the Safari app icon and you need to open Facebook in Safari. Okay, so it's just like you're on the internet on in Safari in the browser. You're not on that Facebook app. You're actually in Safari and type in Facebook.com and pull up your Facebook account and it looks very different from the app. Okay, so you have to go in and find the testimony that you want. Like I found this one that this woman posted in the fibromyalgia relief tech plexus page. Um, you're going to double tap on the text and it's going to highlight in blue here. And you're going to have to take your finger and drag over these little blue marks until it's all highlighted blue. And then you're going to click copy. All right, so now it's cut off there and it's saved. And the next step would be to double click in your notes section. If you want to save it for later, um, you could go in your notes section of your phone, double click and save it in there. If you don't really have time to do anything with it right at that moment. But here's the genius thing about Buffer. Instead of saving it in your notes, what you would do, now that you've got it copied, all right, you're going to go over to Buffer. Okay, now this... Just pretend like this is what this is buffer and this is your phone so um, you've downloaded the buffer app when you click on the buffer icon and your the app icon in your phone this is what it's gonna look like this is exactly what it looks like and it and you're gonna see something called the queue you're gonna click on the pencil icon and it's gonna give you a blank screen to type in your post and then you're gonna double click and click choose the paste button and you're going to paste your text into this window here. All right. Next step. Oh, wait, actually that's what it looks like. So you when you, once you've clicked that uh, this little pencil icon, you're going to double click into where it says what would you like to share? Double click and paste your text into there, that that area. Now, here's where you're going to add a photo. So um, I save them on my phone a lot of the times, or you do a screenshot, and um, this is where you're going to pull it from your phone library, your photos library in your phone, and you're going to add a photo that goes with that, that text. Then you're going to click Schedule, 
And you're going to choose a date and a time to schedule that particular post. Use this time, click, and then you're going to go back up and there's a, um, you're going to make, the final step is to choose the button buffer at the top. Make sure you click buffer and then it adds it to your queue. So I have, right here it says I have six lined up to go um, all the way up to Monday. I have all my posts done up till Monday afternoon. So I don't have to worry every day what I'm going to post. If I see good ones, I just go in and um, cut and paste them into Buffer and I share them. So it's really easy, very convenient, and I highly recommend everybody check out Buffer. Do it now. I promise you're absolutely going to love it. Thanks.